hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for all your support if you're new to my channel you're welcome to my channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe today i'll be making an a-line dress so but this video is about the neckline i want to teach you how to make this a trendy altern neckline it's a high color altern neckline i'm going to use this fabric for it this is for the back and this is for the front the front is longer than, than the back because of the high neck. I folded this fabric with my biggest measurement. So which is my bust measurement or my hip measurement because they are the same measurement. My bust measurement and my hip measurement are the same which is 46 inches. So 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. This is 11 and a half. So because it's A-line dress, I added extra to it. So it can add 5 inches, 6 inches, 7 inches. But I folded this fabric into two. This is African print. It's by 45. I just folded it into two. Into two. So the back, this is for the back. It's folded into two. And the front is folded into two also. So this back one is equal here so i put it on this line this is the starting line this is the front pattern and this is the starting line i put the back pattern on it from here nine inches is half of my round arm hole 17 inches is my half length 24 inches is my hip line the length of the dress is 58 inches, but what I have here is 60 inches. 2 inches is for similar allowance. Bust line, waist line, hip line, the length of the dress. So I'm going to mark my shoulder measure. I'm going to mark my shoulder measurement on this line, starting line. My shoulder measurement is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Plus half is similar allowance, 8 and half. Eight and half. This is bust line. My bust measurement is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and half. 11 and half. Plus 1 inch for ease. And 1 inch seam allowance. My waist measurement is 40. 40 divided by... My waist measurement is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10 inches plus 1 inch for ease is 11 inches. 11 inches and uh, 1 inch for seam allowance. My hip measurement is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half plus 1 inch for ease 12 and a half. 1 inch seam allowance. At the lower part, this is the length of the dress. Quarter of my wet hip measurement is 11 and a half. So I will now add how many inches that I want for my A-line allowance. You can add 5 inches, 6 inches, but I will just use 8 inches. So I will connect the lines. This is bust line, seam allowance, waist line, seam allowance, hip line, seam allowance. So I connected it from bust line to waist line, from waist line to hip line. From hip line, I connect it to the end of the dress. To the end of the dress. So now I'm going to mark the armhole. Half of my shoulder measurement is uh, 8 inches plus half inch seam allowance, 8 and half. So that 8 and half, I'll mark it here also. I'll connect the line. From this shoulder measurement, I'll come down by one inch. So 
So I'll mark the neck width, neck width of 3 inches. From this neck width, I'll connect it to this 1 inch shoulder slant. So the shoulder of uh, the back pattern, I'm not going to mark neck depth for back pattern. It will, or you can mark quarter of an inch for neck depth for the back pattern. But I'm not going to mark any neck depth. So on this part, neck width is three inches. So this part is going to be at the back neckline. So neck width of three inches also plus half inch seam allowance. So from this starting line, I'll mark three and a half. 3 inches for the neckline and half inch my allowance to join it. Three inches neck width. Three inches neck width. Then this way I'll mark three and a half. Three inches for neck width and half inch for seam allowance. Three and a half. I'll cover the armhole. This is back armhole. I'll trim the front armhole on the front pattern. You'll get midpoint and connect it. So I'm going to cut it from this three and a half. I mean, this is three inches and this is three and a half. So I'll cut it this way. Shoulder slant, both front and back. I'm home. I've cut it. I'll remove the back one. And this is the front one. I'm going to mark the neckline. So from here, I'll mark one inch. I have three inches here. I have three and a half. So I'll mark one inch. So from this starting line, I'll mark my neck depth. You can use 7 inches, it's okay, but I'll use 8 inches. Three inches neck width. From this starting line to this line is 8 inches, my neck depth, but I can use less. From this line to this line is neck width, 3 inches. So if you like now, you can curve it 
this way for your neckline or you make it like sweetheart neckline to curve it out from this line I'll come up by two inches if you want you can cover it this way or I'll cover it this way This is sweetheart neckline, so you can con you connect it from that point to this side. You, you can connect it, or you use this ruler. cut it so I'm going to cut it one inch So now I'll put fabric under it to cut the facing. So I'll put fabric under to cut the facing. I'll fold the fabric into two. So the fabric is under, I will trim it the same shape with the neckline. So this is the facing. If you like, you can leave it just like this. It's up to you. Or I'll mark like two inches or three inches here. Three inches. About three inches. I'm just connected this way. So I'm going to trim it. So this is the facing. I will iron it up facing on it. So this is the neckline. Right side of the fabric, right side of the facing. I have interfacing on this side. So I'm going to stitch it. Your facing will be like this if you want. I've sewn the facing to the neckline. I also notch. Especially the corners, I know. So I will turn it to this side. And top stitch on the facing side. This similar ones, I will turn it to the facing side and top stitch on the facing. So this is the neckline, the right side. 
So I'll sew it to the back one. So I top, I top stitch on the facing side. After that, I press it. So I'm going to join this. I want to join the front and the back pattern together, but I'll join the neckline first this way. I'll put it this way and join it with half inch seam allowance. You remember, I have half inch seam allowance on this side because it's three and a half. I've joined the front neckline together. So what I'll do next is to, is to sew the front and the back together. So this is the back pattern, right side, right side of the front, right side together. So this is the neck width. You can notice that it's straight. I didn't curve it. No neck depth. So this is shoulder slant, shoulder slant, no neck depth. This is center. You can notch it to know the center back. So because this uh, line, is going to be on the center back so only the main fabric not the facing so you put it this way shoulder you pin it this way you go and stitch it together only the main fabric no facing I'll stitch it but please remember to trim your front armhole before you start sewing Remember to trim it before you join the sleeve when you're cutting. Remember to trim your front armhole. Midpoint, you're coming by 0 0.75 and trim it. So, I'm joining it, the front and the back together. Only the main fabric. So, this corner here, I notch it. I also notch this side. So, what you do next is to stitch the two sides or to tidy up your facing so you can tidy up your facing with needle to tack it to tack it to the front part so to tidy up the neckline this is the back this seam will be open the center back on the neckline open you cover it this way You fold in, you fold it in, and use needle to tuck it. If you like, you can use machine, but I'll use needle. So after that, you will now join the side together, the two sides. One is seam allowance to the end. One is seam allowance to the end. But if you like, you can add pocket to your own. So the next, after that, the next thing I'll do is to fix my sleeve. It's bas just basic sleeve. You can fix sleeve of your choice, but I'll fix basic sleeve. So I shaped the dress. I also fix the sleeve. So what I'll do next, what I'll do next is to hem the lower part. After that, I'll put it on the mannequin. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.